Welcome to the Call Flow Builder. This tool allows you to build your company's inbound call flow step by step in a visual format. This feature is the final step in the NextOS setup wizard, or it can be accessed by navigating to Advanced Routing and selecting Call Flows. In the Call Flows section, you have two options to create a purely visual diagram of your organization's call flow or to build your call flow. Let's click Create Call Flow to build a call flow for your account. To help you get started, there are a number of templates to choose from. Start with a general template or click All Templates and select your industry from the drop-down menu. For example, if you select Sales and Support, there are templates for Sales, Support, and Billing. To build a call flow from scratch, click Select on the Start from Scratch option. In the Build Call Flow section, start by entering a name for your call flow. Then, select a phone number from the drop-down menu and enter an extension if applicable. Next, select the first event in your call flow, an auto attendant that greets incoming callers, for example, in the Add Event window. Select an existing auto attendant from the drop-down menu or click Create to build a new one. Let's build a new one specific to this call flow. First, enter the auto attendant's name and select its location. Next, choose the keys you would like your auto attendant to function with, for example, 1, 2, and 3. Then, enter a description for each key, 1 for sales, 2 for support, 3 for billing, and 0 is the default for the operator. Click Submit. Now click the plus sign beside each key to further build out the call flow. For the operator, select which user this option will route to, either an existing user or a new one you create. Once done, click Submit. If additional events will take place if the user doesn't answer, such as routing to another user after a certain number of rings, or forwarding to a voicemail, click the plus sign to add a connecting event. Here you can enter more criteria for the operator call flow. After you've selected a closing event, the call flow for that key will end. For sales, click the plus sign to add a continuing event. Let's select a call group. Next, choose an existing call group or create a new one, then click Submit. Now continue to build the call flow for this option. Once you've chosen a closing event and entered the appropriate information, for example, forwarding the call to an after-hours service via an external number, click Submit to end the sales call flow. For support, click the plus sign and choose the appropriate continuing event. Again, let's select Call Group and create a new one for this key option. Enter the call group's name, select the location, and a unique extension. Next, select the call distribution policy from the drop-down menu. Then select how long you want a call to ring before forwarding to the next user. Next, add users to this call group from the available users list by clicking on their name or dragging them over to the selected users box. Once the selected users are in the order you'd like, click Submit. Now build the rest of your call flow with connecting events and finish it with a closing event such as sending the call to voicemail. For billing, let's route those calls to voicemail. Select the voicemail box this call will route to so that any time a caller selects option 3, they can leave a message. Your call flow for the specified phone number is now built. If you want to add a new option to the auto attendant, key 4 for example, and do not add a continuing or closing event, the call flow will save, but cannot go live. You must finish the call flow for all options first. If your call flow starts to get too big to view, click the full screen, zoom in, or zoom out icons to adjust the view. To download the call flow as an image for future reference, click the download icon in the upper right corner. Now that the call flow is complete, click Save. If you'd like the call flow to go live now, click Continue and Go Live. If you decide that you'd rather wait, click No, let's do this later, and come back to it when you're ready. 
If you are ready to go live, click Yes, go live now. It may take a few minutes for your new call flow to go live, and inbound calls may be disconnected while the call flow configures. We recommend that you go live when your business is closed or during a low call volume time so your business is not disrupted. Next, the call flow builder will revalidate the call flow routing, so if anything changed in your account since you started building your call flow, the system will notify you of the specific error. Once processing has reached 100%, click Continue. Lastly, go through the checklist to ensure your call flow is working properly. For example, verify that when you call into the assigned number, you're connected to the auto attendant, the correct greeting plays, and when you press zero, you're routed to the receptionist. After verifying each step, check the box and continue to the next one. We recommend that you verify each step before clicking finish. If you don't want to test anything, there is the option to finish anyway. Now you will be taken to the Manage Call Flows page. This is where you can view all the call flows for your account. Each call flow will include information about when it was last updated and its status, indicating when it went live or when it was last saved. To further verify that everything was configured correctly for the call flow you just built, click Advanced Routing in the top navigation and select Auto Attendance. All created auto attendants are listed here. From the Manage Auto Attendant page, search for the specific auto attendant you created. Then click the name to view its information and verify that everything is accurate. Thanks for using the Callflow Builder.